did you know that you can make $250 or more a day just using 10 minutes of your time posting blank books to Amazon? The method I'm about to show you is something that I have used for myself to create passive income and it literally took me less than 10 minutes to do. And to tell you the truth, once I did this initially, I completely forgot about it and I eventually checked on it and found out that I had money just sitting in my account. So when I say it's passive, it's passive. And I was able to make this in just three weeks doing it part time, not even taking it seriously. Now that may not be the same results for everyone. In fact, it actually will vary. This is a person that has made $700 in an entire year doing this. And on the other hand, this is someone that has made $67,000 in just one month doing it. So I wanted to show you from my own experience and the experience of others that this is possible. And today I'm about to show you exactly how you can do it too. What's up guys, I'm Monique if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. So the passive income method that I'm talking about is creating and uploading low content books to Amazon. And these are going to be things like journals, notebooks, planners, just any kind of book that has blank pages, line pages, or very minimal content that's the same on each page. I'm going to give you a tool that will help you to create this in less than five minutes with just the click of a few buttons. That way you can start putting that out there as soon as today and making money as soon as possible. But just in case you've never heard about this before, let me go over the process a little bit more so that you can have a full understanding of how this works. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is find books that people are searching for. And once you find that book, then you will have to create it. Again, I'm gonna show you how to do it quick and easy. And after that, you will then have to upload it to Amazon KDP, which is absolutely free to do. And this is the point that Amazon is going to take over. And once someone goes to Amazon, finds this book and buys it, then Amazon will be the one that's responsible for printing it and they will ship it to the customer. They take care of all the customer service. I actually have created several books before. I have copies of some of them right here. So I know that this does work. So enough talking about it. Let's go ahead on and get into this and start working on the books. And the tool we are going to be using to do this is BookBow. And you can sign up for a free trial of BookBow using the link down below. And when you are logged in, this is the screen that you are going to be brought to. And the first place we are going to want to go is to the cloud and what the cloud does is they show you the best-selling books on Amazon right now so you'll be able to adjust your search and you can look at the top selling journals notebooks planners whatever you're interested in creating and the thing I'm interested in is prayer journal so I'm just going to add a keyword here and then the next thing you have to do is just scroll through all of these different bestsellers that they're showing you that's doing good right now and you'll try to find one that's getting a good amount of monthly sales and these right here are doing pretty well but one of the things you want to make sure is more than just people searching for it you also want to make sure that there is low competition for this you don't want it to be too oversaturated to where people can't even find your book and so prayer journal itself is a pretty saturated niche there are tons of results here so we will have to sub niche and one of the things that I consider doing was a 365 day prayer journal and as you can see the amount of competition we have has decreased drastically but the main thing is you want to make sure that you try to get it at least a thousand search results or less because that's going to get you your higher chances of being found just because there's plenty of search results does not mean that you'll never be found but this just helps you to get out there more so at this point what we are going to start doing now is creating the design of our books and so we'll just select the create tab and then choose book Bolt studio and when we get in here they'll just ask you a few questions like what type of book you're going to create I just always go with the paperback cover and interior so we can do them both at the same time. And as far as size, I just stick with the standard six by nine size. They'll also ask you the color you want it in. I just go with black and white because those cost less to print and we'll let it bleed when printing. And as far as the page amount, I'm just going to put in 120 pages just because that's the amount that many of the best sellers had and we want to stick close to what's working. So once we get in here, the first thing we are going to see is the cover. And as 
you can see on the right side of this is the front of the book and on the left is going to be the back. So I'm going to go ahead on and remove this template out of our way so that we can get to work. And so what we're going to do at this point is pretty much just select this file library right here and then you want to choose Pixabay. And this is where you're going to pretty much search for photos to add to your cover page. And I usually will type in something like maybe prayer, peace, floral, aesthetic, and then you'll just scroll through, find something that you like and you'll select it. And me personally, I like to keep things very minimal. I feel like less is more. And this is very beautiful. It's actually something I will purchase. And so from there, we're pretty much almost done. The only thing you're going to want to do too is add a title to it. And we're going to go ahead and add text and then choose heading. And then you can type in whatever title you want your book to be. Of course, I'm going with the 365 day prayer journal. And you can always play around with the font just to make it a little fancier. And then that's pretty much your cover photo. The next thing that we will have to do from here is go ahead on and work on our interior. And there's another easy way we can do this by going to this little puzzle tab here. And this is where you're going to find all of the templates that they have already pre-created for you. And you'll be able to scroll through, find something you like, and then you can just click it and add it to your interior. Now we're doing a prayer journal. There are prayer templates. You can do line journal. You could create whatever you want and you can either apply it to all of the pages or you can do odd pages and if you want to add another template to the other side of the page you can just go back and add that to the even and then I'll usually keep whatever settings they already have pre-selected in here and at this point you pretty much have an entire book created like I said in a matter of minutes so the only thing that's left to do is go up here to the top and then you're going to hit that download button we want to go with the CMYK because that one is for printed books and then we'll just download. Now with BookBoat, they do have their free three-day trial that you can play around with this. Make sure it's something that you actually like. And then they have the paid plan for as low as $9.99 a month. And I actually have a coupon down below that you can use to get an additional 20% off, which will make this just $7.99 a month. So the next thing that we're going to do is head over to Amazon KDP so that we can upload this onto Amazon's website. And it's absolutely free to create an account. It's very easy easy to do and once you create that account you will find yourself on this page here and we will just choose the create tab and then they'll ask you what type of book you want to create of course we chose a paperback book and then one of the first things they're going to ask you is for the title now whatever title you put on your cover page you'll have to put that title here as well or they'll reject your book and as far as the title of course you can use things that are working already what we found in the cloud and then the next thing they'll ask you to do is add the author name and that means that you are about to be a published author on Amazon. You'll put your name here and another important thing is to add the description. Of course again we're not making this hard. You can look at the description of the books that are already working then you can tweak that to fit your book. Of course don't just go and copy and paste people's work y'all. You want to make sure that you are tailoring this to your book. Now I went thoroughly through this many times before but I'm just really pulling out the most important things that will help your book to sell more. And one of those is going to be adding keywords to it. As you can see, there are several slots here for you to add keywords. And the keywords you add is what's going to help your book to be found more. So you want to make sure you use every single slot here that they give you. And in order to find the best keywords, BookBall also has a keyword search that you can go to. And then you can type in prayer journal. And it'll give you a list of things that people are actually searching for on Amazon. So that that you can make sure you're supplying their needs. And so you'll just go through, you can look at the search volume and then you can pick out which ones you want and come back and add it here. Now a few other things you wanna make sure you choose is to publish without an ISBN number because low content books do not need them. And then of course there's this section here where you will have to upload your cover photo and then you'll have to upload your interior. And you want to make sure you preview this to make sure everything lines up and looks the way that you want it to. And after that, they will give you a price for how much it will cost to print this book. Now you do not have to pay up front. What they will be doing is once someone purchases this book, they will take that print cost from the money that the person spends. So you're not coming out of pocket for this. This is very low risk for you. But the next thing you're going to want to do is actually set your price, which is going to be important because you do want to cover those print costs as well as the other fees that they take out. And you want to also make sure you try to keep the price close to what's working for other people. Because if you charge too much, it 
especially as a beginner, you're not going to get many sales. And then whatever price you choose, it'll show you over here the royalties that you will be receiving per book. So you can kind of adjust that and play with that too to make sure it's something you're happy with getting. Then at that point, all you have to do is submit the book and it usually takes up to 72 hours for Amazon to review it. And then at that point, you're a published author and you can go back and repeat this process and you want to make sure you put out as many books as possible because of course the more you put out there the more chances you have of making sales now of course like I said these results are going to vary from person to person some people actually get sales organically like during Christmas season I randomly put this book up there got sales instantly without doing anything else some people actually have to run ads in order to get sales and that's okay too if you have the money to put towards that honestly when you're starting this out it's going to be a lot of trial and error you just have to see what works for you but again I wanted to just share a side hustle that I personally done that I know that works so I hope that this helps you out please like this video because that helps me out so other than that I thank you so much for watching and until next time we are out peace <laughs>